Hello, today I'm going to show you how can you set up scheduling mode for your projects in project for the web using Microsoft Power Apps. There is only one way in which you can set up your scheduling, preferred scheduling mode. For that, you should go to Power Apps here. You can get you should go to apps and click on project when you click on project you will see, uh, your screen may be different uh, from mine because i have a project accelerator uh, installed which is going to be a topic of my next video but for now you will certainly find here this one settings so you will go to settings and you will find your active project parameters and you will find your default organization unit or units for which you can change the default scheduling mode. For that purpose, I, I have only one and I will check it here and I will go to edit. And here I can see here that I can change scheduling mode. Default scheduling mode is fixed duration. And I told it uh, many times in my previous videos. Let's say that I want and I prefer fixed effort. So I'm going to change for my organization units scheduling mode from uh, a default fixed duration to fixed effort. And now you will see that I can uh, uh, have and I have option project level scheduling mode override permitted. If I leave here no, it means that I will not be able uh, to create a different project with different scheduling mode. So I will not be able to choose for each and every project which, which schedule mode we, uh, I want or prefer. It will always be fixed effort. For, but sometimes I will like to have fixed duration. Sometimes I will like fixed effort. Some like, uh, sometimes I will like fixed units. So for that purpose, I'm going to change this from no to yes. And that means that each and every time when I will create a new project, I will be able to choose schedule mode and now i did it did what i have to do and i will going to click on save and save a clock and save and close be aware of some or one thing if you already have created some project with let's say fixed duration and you change your schedule mode here from fixed duration to fixed effort like I did, those projects are not going to be affected with that change. They will stay in their previous default schedule mode. So if you created schedule mode, uh, a project in schedule mode, let's say fixed effort, and after that you, uh, uh, you change your default schedule mode to fixed duration, it will the, the old project will stay in fixed effort scheduling mode. So the, those changes affect only projects which are going to be created in the future. Now, let me show with this fixed effort how, can, uh, how the project will behave when I have a new project and, of course, I will have fixed effort schedule mode. Okay. I have created a brand new project with some start date and calendar. Be aware that schedule mode cannot be chosen and you cannot choose it when you create project from Microsoft project for the web. It can be chosen only when you create your new project via Power Apps or Power Accelerate uh, or Project Accelerator, which will be explained in my next video. So, 
when you create your new project using Microsoft Project for the web, schedule mode will be default schedule mode, which was defined here. Okay, now for this purpose, I created three tasks and I will assign John to task one, Mary to task two, and John and Mary to both both of them to task three. Since uh, 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 this is a project with fixed effort uh, 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 schedule mode, I will define effort. I will say John needs 32 hours to finish this task. Mary needs she needs 40 hours, and John and Mary, they're both needs 80 hours, okay? And duration will be calculated. How is it so? Since John, according to his calendar, is going to work eight hours per day, and he needs 32 hours to complete his task, 32 hours will be completed in four days because John works eight hours per day. Same for Mary. Mary, according to her calendar, is supposed to work eight hours per day. She needs 40 hours. 40 hours that divided by eight hours per, per day means uh, will result in five days. And when I put John and Mary together on a task, and, and uh, they both need eight, 80 hours, since both of them are working eight hours per day, they are going to split the work in, in a way that John is going to work eight hours per day, Mary is going to work eight hours per day. So it means that in five days, John will complete 40 hours, John will work 40 hours, Mary will work 40 hours, and that result in 80 hours. What if I change effort? If I change effort, let's say I, I don't need John to work 32 hours, only eight hours. Of course, duration will be changed as well because since John is working eight hours per day, and for to complete this task, he needs eight hours uh, in total, he will be done in one day. But what if I say that Mary needs 80 hours? Since May, Mary needs 80 hours, 80 hours means that she will work 10 days, eight hours per day. You got the picture. So to conclude, uh, in project parameter information, you can choose which is your prefer which is your preferred schedule mode and i uh, are you will be uh, will you be able to change this preferred schedule mode on the project level that is first thing second thing you cannot choose default schedule type when you create project using project for the web only when you are uh, uh, using a uh, project uh, via power apps and when you create project via power apps that is the second thing. And the third, also a very important thing is when you change your preferring schedule mode, it will apply it only to new created projects, not to old one. That's all for today. Thank you very much and see you very soon. Have a nice day.